that has able to come over here to get today, so that's exciting for me. And it's good morning to many joiners. Good morning. There you go, Jan. Yeah, really good, thanks. Um, now, I want to tell you about Matt. Um, if you haven't listened to him before or you haven't heard anything about his work, Matt's currently the foremost, supreme, I think the word is, uh, Ed Rush artist in Australia, recognised by awards and various other things. And uh, so he's got some exciting things to tell us all about projects that he's been doing recently in uh, that area. But he also uh, does lots of other work. He's a musician, he's a surfer, uh, and uh, an artist extraordinaire. So, Matt, there you go. How was that for an intro? <laughs> that sounded really good. I wish my, my life was quite as exciting as that. It's yeah, we all wish that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, that. And then there's the reality yeah. of, of being, I know. Yeah. Um, but uh, tell, perhaps you tell the listeners a little bit about your um, progress through uh, into the whole world of airbrush art because you actually started as a sign writer as a young fella. Did you? We're only young now, but as a, <laughs> as a youngster. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, basically, I was just, you know, yeah, my father was trying to hook me into the family business. I was just like, no, I can't do that. But my grandfather was a sign writer um, okay. and he actually taught my trade school teachers. And when I went into trade school, I said, oh, no, hang on, you and your relation to, you know, Grandfather's a beautiful, yeah. Um, and it was you know, fairly clear that I had a fair bit of talent, but uh, that didn't count for much in the art world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, yeah, come on. Yeah, no. Okay, so sign writing was your first thing, and then how did that sort of develop and go into. Uh, I just I just picked up the airbrush, I was just, right, just picked it up, trade school one day, and that was it, just took off. You just loved Flew it. With it. And yeah. yeah, that's sort of been my world, my artistic world in a sense. Um, yeah. But it's, it's just really hard one. I find that the better you are, I guess, the more, more skill and more, I guess, involved you are with the artwork, it just it, it undoes you. Like, well, I suppose it's um, it's such a personal thing, art, and so yeah. intense, isn't it? You put your absolute heart and soul into everything you do, and that shows in your work, there's no doubt about that. I know that um, some of the city councils have picked up um, your talent to, um, Put installations into um, yeah. I've just I've just finished a big commission for the, um, the railways department to do a big uh, yeah. I think it was eight murals at the Brighton railway station, and by the end of that, I mean it was Fantastic. great, great experience, great, great uh, contract, great opportunity. I, I've just been I'm burnt out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, it's uh, I can't look at the paint or the artwork anymore. <laughs> like, oh, uh, so that will bring us to your next thing. But before we do, um, you'll have those things installed fairly soon, I'm sure. I know there's yeah. reaction things and all yeah. sorts of stuff you have to do before you can do that. Yeah. But um, what's uh, tell people about the content of your artwork. What is the um, theme? What kinds of... Well, that theme was uh, native species to Adelaide region only, yeah. except for the gardens now. Yeah. Um, so uh, it was just native, yeah, little bugs. And I just, with my whole creative flair, I just like the whole graffiti side to it. Take it to the extreme. Yeah. And people, people always ask me, say, well, you must have been a graffiti artist, you must have been one of those naughty kids. I was like, I've never actually done it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't need to because you can do it in real life. Well, you can get paid to do it, you know. Yeah, that's um, right. Um, so that brings me to, I know, another area that you um, that you work in, and uh, and that's in the area of uh, music, because you love it, of course. Yeah. Um, but also, uh, you do quite a lot of work in recycling, so tell people the kinds of things you make with bits and pieces that you find when you're recycling. Uh, well, I, I got, well, once again, I got burnt out with the whole art side of it. And <laughs> I, just, I just worked demolition, I was just like, oh, I just want to do something completely different. So I worked demolition for a few years and just uh, collected all the timber because my uncle's uh, a um, cabinet maker. And I was into building guitars anyway, so I was just trying to seek out what the, all these nice bits of wood. I've got a whole shed full of wood mind you and, uh, and I just had a massive clean up. It took me a day and a half to clean the shed up. <laughs> um, but yeah, he was sort of like just uh, giving me pointers on what timber was good for this and all that. And I've been building guitars I think for four, 13, 14 years now and I've had so many signed and I've given a couple away and you know, I think the last one was Susie DeMarchi and the Screaming Jets. Oh, yeah. um, and Dave Gleason, so they signed a um, an acoustic, and I, I gave them a guitar each. So, and they were, they were really fantastic with it all. Um, so I do all of that, but I've got paintings as well. Like back in the day, like 
I mean, it was only yesterday, it was really sad to hear that Malcolm Young had passed away yes, yes. from ACDC, and it was back in 2000, 2001, around that era, um, as she did a painting of ACDC, and uh, the young boys uh, signed it for me, so Angus and Malcolm both saw me painting, so, I mean, it's great that they give, you know, that five minutes of time to, to those fans, that, yeah, you know, definitely. they can see that they've put in a little bit of effort or, you know, so it's, it's great for them to, you know, give you the energy that you've, yeah, and, and the, they get the energy from the audience and, and, and from the people. recognition, yeah, you know, definitely. So, um, I've got a whole swag of paintings and guitars signed by, you know, so many bands and that, um, and yeah, that, that's, it's sort of like still continuing on with all my guitar building because I've sort of like stopped with the painting side, but I've, yeah, I'm just over that. Well, sometimes, <laughs> you'll come back to it. Yeah. Sometimes it's good just to um, take that break from things, isn't it? Yeah. And um, get a bit of perspective back. But we were talking the other day when um, you had time to have a couple with me, and we were talking about the possibility of um, putting together an exhibition of um, the artwork you've done um, yeah. in, uh, in terms of um, portraits of famous people, which you've actually been doing for quite a long time, yeah. sports stars and various other people who are quite well known. And, uh, and along with um, the guitar collection and the sign guitars, but also the fact that, you know, they've been uh, part of other things. They've been part of other buildings or, uh, you know, structures or yeah. whatever. I'm not sure of the kind of timber that you use for guitars. Uh, what do you use for guitars? What's well, I built, I built one. It was, I built one out of Queensland cedar that was come out of an old church that we demolished that was like 120 years old. Yeah. So and unfortunately, that wasn't good enough to get into a uh, sculptural exhibition up at Signal Point, and it's like, huh? Oh, that's a shame. And then I've been shunned again up there. Sorry to go on a negative, but, <laughs> um, you know, the, the powers to be up at Signal Point want me to deframe all my, all my paintings. And I'm like, huh? Yeah, yeah. Like, let the artist be the artist, and, you know, it's hard enough being an artist, and then you get shunned in your own community. Mm -hmm. It that really, it really just, eh, yeah. uh, I just want to walk away again. Eh. That's amazing. Well, there we go. Think, I think you're right to uh, take a break from, um, you know, art for a little while, especially when you've done such an enormous commission uh, as the Lamb in Brighton. And, yeah. um, and then, you know, sit back a little bit and you know, see what's going on. And of course, that's art because you've always got to have income of some sort. Yeah. So, um, and I know that you're a, a massive fan of keeping yourself in a good spot and looking for ways to do that and you do that through surfing don't you yeah, yeah. when you get the chance to yeah. uh, get away yeah tell i me, took, tell took me a friend that. out yesterday actually it was only small she's only learning and yeah we just you know it was a hot day we just, oh, we'll just go ahead and just check the waves and it was tiny but um for her it was probably temporary yeah um but yeah we are uh, you know we we're just out there and you know a couple of dolphins just passed by and it's just oh. like oh you know, it's just all you need. Yeah. You know. And you know what? That's the reality. That's a check for reality. Yeah. You, know, you know what? The world's okay. Yeah. It's just you have to keep it in perspective, don't yeah. you? As you get along the way. So there's that spiritual side that I take into surfing as well. Yeah. You know, a lot of people go out there and it's all just competition. And yeah. you know, I, I don't surf with a lot of people. I just I'm not over there by myself, just yeah. chilling out and meditating. And <laughs> it's interesting, Matt, that you say that because. Uh, Last week I had the chance to uh, chat with Paul Benson, who's yeah. down there in the Port Eagle, and um, I'm going to play, um, because he's in a store, it's a little bit difficult for him to get away and uh, you know, come into the studio, but I'm going to look back tomorrow and uh, finish off the uh, interview that I did with him, um, and he said the same thing, you know, one of the things about surfing is that um, it's just something that you need to do and totally focus in the moment. You actually yeah. can't really be thinking about everything else. There's yeah. something about it that um, gives you that, uh, just a space in your mind that keeps yeah. you uh, really focused and you forget everything else and you just, well perhaps you know you look down for the occasional shadow underneath you, but <laughs> other than that, <laughs> that's all good. No, you've got to block that, that thought out. <laughs> yeah, you do. But I think, uh, you know, he said the same thing and also the power of um, mateship amongst um, you know, people there is that, yeah. They've known each other for yeah. many, many years. And if you surf with three or four of your mates, it's fine. You know, you share ways, but then... Yeah. When there's a great big crowd. When there's a great big crowd, it's, it's like, oh my God, it's like bugs <laughs> on a bumper. It's like you've got to dodge the witch's hat. It's like, <laughs> go away. Ah. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. You get into local mentality and, yeah, you know, you can't be like that. It's like, you know, very selfish, but you're going, oh. So that's, I, think I actually go search for my own waves. I just go, okay, there's heaps there. I'm going to go down there. 
the trouble is I think all the people who know the area do the same thing, so you all end up there together. It's yeah. good airing, it's really. Maddie Jonas, you are a legend in your own lifetime, whether you believe it or not at the moment, but it's true. And, uh, I'll give so, a break when I'm dead. Oh, what a study. Oh, God, don't say that. <laughs> um, but no, he is an extraordinary artist, and uh, um, we're going to be working on that. Uh, That's the only thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get funding for an exhibition, mm. and it's so hard. Like, That's all right, we'll find it. That's well, all good. Yeah. Don't worry about I mean, the, the funding bodies out there have all said no to me. I'm like, well. You're still going? asking the right questions, honey. <laughs> I need funding for an exhibition. <laughs> Just go. putting it out there. <laughs> All right. And my guest this morning, Matt Jonas, artist, musician, and surfer extraordinaire, and uh, a great fella, even though he's feeling a little uh, waxing and waning right at this very moment. Maddie, thanks so much for being thanks, on the Jan. program. No See you soon.